Can you create enough land notes where your passive income exceeds your fixed expenses? And then you're working because you want to, not because you have to. That's beautiful. You mentioned something in there with uh, an abstractor. So you've got the title companies and then you've got a team in Jamaica for the low. What's an abstractor? So an abstractor is the person that actually does the work for the title company. You can just go directly to them and save money. Okay. They, they actually and go to the there... county and pull the files. And do you have someone on your team specifically that will just be the abstractor for you that you pay kind of full-time staff? Or do you have someone you outsource that to? Or how often yeah, do you we, use that? We outsource that because each county is going to need a different abstractor. Okay. I see. Typically. Um, yeah. I mean, if you're, using, if you're doing big deals, you can use a national title company, but even then you want to you keep everybody honest. Mm -hmm. What's the size deal that you recommend people start with? Say that they, maybe they have J, joint venture partners and so they can start in a certain niche. What's the most logical place to start? It depends on their budget. So I have clients that have a very low budget and they want to look at properties that are $500. I have other clients with millions of dollars and they want to do bigger deals. Maybe they want to do a, a ranch so or a big parcel to subdivide. It just depends on the budget. I'd say our bread and butter deal is about $3,500. Okay. So $3,500. And then, so that's probably a reasonable place for someone to start. And if they didn't have the $3,500, they could get a joint venture partner, someone to come in with the money. But that, that $3,500 range, what do you like about that range? Well, there's a lot of property in that range. And I just think that when you flip it, it's a very easy car payment and you can get your money out very fast on those smaller deals. So those are really nice singles, but I wouldn't get a JV partner. I would get a debt partner. So you shouldn't give up equity on these deals at all because it's laborious and the money doesn't drive the deal. It's not like multifamily where if you can't raise $50 million, you don't have a deal, right? In these $3,500, it shouldn't be hard to find. If you're making a 300 to a thousand percent return on your money, it doesn't really matter what you borrow at. If you are putting things on payment plans, having things come in 84 months down the road, how do you have the liquidity to do the deals when you're first getting started? How do you recommend doing that? So you can sell your note to an investor. And so you can get two bites of the apple. So let, let's say you've got a note worth $5,000, right? And you put in, let's say $2,200 into that property and you're getting that over time. Well, you could sell say 12 months of that note to an investor. So now you're going to get maybe your money out to go and do it again. That investor will get a good return on their money as long as that person keeps making their payments. If they default, that's not a problem because you'd have a deal with, you would just resell it and get that note to perform again, where you would just make sure that, that it performs. And then it, the note would re revert back to you. So you get two bites of the apple, essentially. Interesting. Tell me the specifics of where to find that type of, who you sell the note to. Is that a company you go yeah, to? You, or is it, Yeah, you, you can go to a, a website like tlfolio.com. Okay, great. tlfolio.com. Yeah. I've never heard of that. That's interesting. Yeah. 